Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Brooke and you're watching Hooked on Brooke. In this episode, we head out the Tweed Bar and go to Kira Reef so we can target Benito and stock up the freezer with bait. So we've tried a few different things this morning and this little hard body, it's a sinking hard body, seems to be doing the trick. It's nice and shiny and gets down. I can just like let it sink for a bit and then uh, just wind it back really fast. That seems to get the bonito into a frenzy. Just let it sink for a moment and then hard wind. slow this morning. Uh, now we finally got to school and this is what we're chasing. So we've actually got pro fishermen just up current of us and they seem to be burling up which is keeping the fish in their area. So I'm gonna have to burly up too to try and get the fish to come back to us. So I'm just gonna use my filter, cut him up into really small chunks. That nice little handful, just got to keep burling up. You can probably hear my drag's a little bit loose, but it's safer to have it like that. If I actually get a hook up, I'm not going to tear the lure out of the fish's mouth. And then once I am hooked up, I can just tighten it up if I need to. what we're catching today, little bonito. Actually one of the best baits I've ever used. They're actually chocolate for fish. They just love it. So you can use this as a nice little skip bait or strip him up and it's perfect. They'll freeze in the freezer for a long time and then you just thaw them out when you need them. So let's catch some more. This is the second day of bonito collecting on Kira Reef, only a few days apart. Australian bonito only migrate up and down our coastline a few times a year, so it's best to try and stock up the freezer when we can. I like to preserve my bonito in vacuum sealed bags for the deep freezer. This time I'm even going to try and salt a batch. So this is what we're catching today guys, little bonitos. So this morning we pulled up to the reef and anchored up and we were casting metals, hard bodies and all that kind of stuff out into the reef and then fast winding it back to the boat, burling up. Couldn't find any bonito, there just was a few sparingly here and there. Um, we had a few other boats around us that were doing the same thing. No one was really hooking up. So we decided to lift anchor and just start trolling around the reef. And I'll show you my little rig that I've got. I have a bait jig cut in half with a hard body on the back. Sometimes I'll use a metal on the back instead of a hard body, but today I wanted to kind of swim down a little bit where the fish could possibly be hiding. So that's about the length of it there. It's about a meter long and we're just trolling around the edge of the reef. So that seems to be doing the trick at the moment. I'm gonna try and catch some more now. While Dennis hooked up on that pass, I decided to keep casting and see if I could get another fish in the same school. Got a fish. trolling for Benito and then once Dennis had actually hooked up usually the school follows the fish that's hooked and then I was casting my lure out again and again and again and I actually got a hook up too. By giving the rod a jerk every now and then it gives the lure a little bit more action and hopefully entices the Benito to come in and smash it. So if you enjoyed this episode today guys please hit that little thumbs up button subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next episode.
See you guys. <laughs> Jiggling my fish bags. <laughs>